Hey folks, it's your buddy Jason here. I'm getting started on a totally new setup for uh, stationers. I keep wanting to say uh, RimWorld, but um, it's not. It's the stationers, or stationers, not the stationers. I sound like a damn idiot. <coughs> What manner of foolishness is this? So we're swapping some stuff out here. Let's cable up our uh, um, auto lathe here. Did I just put a? Hmm. Okay. Cutters. Get that back, and then let's build a straight. And then a corner uh, down. Uh, one of these days I'll do this like right and it'll amaze me. I just, I never do it though. No matter where I'm facing, the straight cable's always facing the wrong direction. So I got a little bit of a <clears throat> quick, dirty uh, solar panel system going right now. Um, you know, you can connect all that stuff, but it's just a waste of cable. Unless you uh, really want to automate it, and you can do that later, you know. Um, early on, don't worry about it so much. I turn this crap off. I don't know what I'm thinking that. <clears throat> there we go. Um, we want. We actually want a number of things. I'm pretty sure it's the electronics printer. So we need two gold and 20 iron. That's easy. Uh, however, we are going to wait till morning to go do that, as I don't want to waste my battery. I got a few things I want to do in the meantime. So, um, <clears throat> and, and in a minute I'm going to show everybody something really cool, but it, I have to have this set up first, so you're just going to have to be patient for a little bit, which, personally, I hate being patient. I am the least patient person, so I apologize. Um, you know, I would uh, might as well go ahead and take this over here because we can use it for storage. You know, we can um. <clears throat> We can put some of the stuff we got laying on the ground in it for right now. So, for poor instance, um, earlier when I was setting this up, I had a bunch of uh, stuff in my hand, so I ended up chucking uh, a bunch of cart there they are, a bunch of cartridges down here that I didn't. Well, well, that one I do want actually. Um, Atmos can stay here right now. Uh, power controller can go back in there. These iron sheets, as well as, you know, glass sheets. All this, this crap can go back in here for right now. And there's some stuff on the ground there, too, I think, right? No? Okay, whatever. So, we do have a, um, generator. Hey, what's up, Angel? Um, now let me turn this off. We do have a generator that we can set up. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, yeah, but what we will need very much to do is turn our solar panel around, right? Not rotate, but 
tilt it. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Yeah. Get your food on. That sounded really horrible. So... I set things up the way I did this time for a specific reason and, and you'll you'll all see you'll see why so let's see I'm gonna turn my jetpack off okay that's set I still got plenty of wires and all that jazz so I'm not worried about that two iron frames left um there and uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see about that when I'm doing my airlock. <clears throat> but I do like to have that one under it at least. Be a iron frame. Okay. All right. Cool. Sunrise. So. <sighs> what am I doing? I brought this over here for a specific reason. So, let's take off this belt. Flip over to this one. Go find some... Well, you know what? One other little thing. And this is just out of sheer paranoia. And not even that so much as just the fact that I don't... Uh, want to have to worry about it. Nah, I'll get out of here. Um, there we go. That's stupid beacon... Let's put down the beacon so that if we get lost, we can find our way back. And now here's the trick. Got to remember to turn it on. Okay. Uh, and, you know, not like we're really going to get lost. We're just going to head towards the sun anyway yeah, in this direction. It's the easiest way to explore without something like the beacon. Oh, hey, lead. That'll be uh, useful for solder, I believe. Iron. We need iron. We also need gold. Gold is not hard to find in this game, thank God. I'm, I'm kind of. I mean, like sometimes it's a pain in the ass to find certain materials, like the second you want them. But the game isn't honestly stingy, at least so far in my experience with, with anything that you would, you know, that you would need. So. That I do like. That I do like. Uh, here's some more iron. Sometimes it's sneaky, you know. It'll be, and it'll there'll be a ton of it here too. It'll be underground, you know, hit a vein of it basically. And iron fills up really fast, really, really fast. So if we get too much going on too quickly then we'll we'll swap over we'll throw some stuff in the backpack which is good because we have space in it right now we just have like the one cartridge i believe other than our must carry stuff our oxygen and waste tanks etc etc let's see here yeah that's good enough for right there i mean there might be more down there i don't feel like screwing around and noodling for it or whatever for half an hour Alright, so the base I started last game is actually pretty cool, and it still exists, and it's large, and I did a lot of stuff to it, and I thought, what's the fun of doing a lot of stuff to a base that I'm not, you know, that I didn't show people how I did it, so I, um, I kind of started over, or, well, it's like, I still have that one, and I'm still gonna maybe still play around with it, but I... I like the challenge of building a new base, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, after a time, after I've done certain things, then I, I like, yeah, I want to I want to start over. Is this copper? It's like really unusual to find this much copper uh, right off, or at least that I've seen. You know, I mean, I, I mean, obviously, I don't know. So uh, let me grab uh, one of these and throw it in the backpack. Okay, back here. Oh wait, now what am I doing? We want copper. <laughs> we really want copper because you have to have it for cabling, you know. 
cabling in this game is the one thing. The other problem we're going to have here is uh, I'm going to have to make steel, but I, I'm pretty sure I got a better handle on it this time, so it's not going to be too huge of an issue. I think I think I can probably make a, a few, <laughs> not 200 bars of steel. We'll put it that way. How about that? I will do 50. That seems a lot more reasonable. And a lot uh, cheaper. Can't even do 50. Does it work out that way? It has to be 12.5. So. Maybe 100. I'll do 100. I think I can do that pretty easily. It's the 200 that got a little out of control. Is I really wasn't understanding the formula, which I'm freaking certainly glad I do now um, oh god okay uh, yep sometimes the controls are a touch confounding can I even put that in my backpack oh for yeah you can put it in your backpack cool So, let's get back to drilling. Hey, the water's going out. That's funny. I haven't used much ice, so uh, that's funny if the water sticks around. Chris has a little bit of oxygen going on, a little bit of pressure around it. So, we, we do want to get like an absolute freaking ton iron so that's why I'm going a little batty here but we can always uh, use our jetpack to get out of any ridiculous holes we make for ourselves I guess the only real danger is you know my like drilling into a pre-existing pocket of earth or pit or something that you can fall into and, uh, and rupture your suit um, and which sucks uh, what am I doing okay yeah right. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of this stuff going on this time, which is good. That's what we want. Okay, I think we've we've done what we can there. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Here's a little bit more. Problem is, well, yeah. Okay, cool. That's fine. I got. This is kind of like a, a little bit of a ridiculous amount of iron. Uh, I'm, let me just kind of, yeah, well, let's just leave it there. Well, I'll probably grab a few more. Oh, wait, there's more right there. Jeez. I want this coal, really. I don't want it for the fuel. I want, you know, honestly, I, I, I guess I could make a ton of stuff. There's just no point in it, though. There's just really no point in it. Because I'm not going to use it. So why would I destroy all those resources to sit on the shelf? I mean, like, I'll use it eventually. Well, that I guess that is the point, too, is the steel frames are a lot better than the iron frames. So it might be nice to have some just a ton of steel. It's kind of easy to... Once you understand what's going on, it's not as bad. So um, Let's drill this out a little bit. I know I'm not getting any more ore out of it, but I just want it to be visible, okay, in case I ever need to come back, at least I got a double back, oh hell, you know, I didn't get, um, what's in there, I didn't get any gold, just, let me just get this, hey, karate, um, alright, I'm gonna grab this copper, Uh, okay, that wasn't that much, whatever. We've got a fair amount. Now, what we honestly want, well, a little bit more iron. It's fine. <clears throat> Just 
just want to get up to that, that stack to 50, basically. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, fine. I'll hold this one. Um, but we really do need some gold. That's the thing. That's more copper. So I'll take. I mean, I uh, just, uh... Okay. There's a nickel, there's lead. <clears throat> we can all we can use in turn. Okay. On the freaking iron. Oh boy. I love it when that happens. <clears throat> so I think we might be SOL. Yeah. Okay. So what we can do here is go to this thing and for a second throw this sucker up there and then. Do the f stupid shuffle. <sighs> and put in our tracker cartridge, right? And go back to the shuffle. Oh, who cares? Um, turn it on. Scroll tracking beacon at 454 meters that direction. We will want a light. <clears throat> So that's kind of handy sometimes if you want to kind of take your time and not worry about having to 100% uh, remember exactly where you are. You can turn on your tracking beacon and take this cartridge and your little personal assistant thing here or whatever. Um, it'll show you where your base is. Once we get closer, I'll turn stuff off to uh, conserve our uh, battery power. Tomorrow we'll uh, try to do a little bit more charge. Let's see. I keep hoping I run into some gold or something because I'm just kind of going straight back. So <clears throat> I might cover some ground that I didn't when I started kind of wandering back and forth. When we do get back to the base, we want to kind of take care of a bunch of stuff. We need to print a furnace. I think I saw it. Yeah, there it is. We'll find some gold tomorrow. Until that point, though, we do have a bit of stuff to work with here. Iron smelts very quickly in the arc furnace, so we'll do a bunch of that. Eventually, we'll have to grab some volatiles, but there's, like, actually a, a fair amount of volatiles around here. <clears throat> Battery is blue. Perfect. Okay. What's my suits one? Hi. Right. Power critical. There we go. Let me go ahead and turn the light off because we don't. I mean, yeah, we'll put it back on in a second then. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on. Don't ever, don't forget to turn off your tracking beacon. You know, um, that's just a word of the wise there. And then we'll run out of battery power real fast. So we have enough to make a ton of steel or just like a normal amount of steel, which is probably what we're going to do. So if we wanted to prepare for that, for instance, I could take this and I could split half, right? 
so I need 25 of that. <clears throat> and then, well, obviously there's that one iron ingot, iron eagle. And um, let's move this here. And when it's done, we'll have our first stack. And it's almost done. Here we go. So, and it's 50 to 20, so I need 25, right? So, 36, 35. Seven, twenty-six, twenty-five. There we go. So that's our hundred steel that we'll make. <clears throat> and the rest of it we'll need for well, for one thing, for building the furnace. Not an arc furnace, a furnace, 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 bow furnace. FIFO furnace. Probably make a locker. We need to make a pipe bender. Hmm. There it is. Okay, so we need 30 iron, <laughs> no problem. I believe we have that covered pretty solid. Uh, what do we got in there now, 26? A good bit more coming too, got 100 copper on the way. It'd be nice. Um, here all right sometimes you just want to get this the uh, this thing going you know because uh, for having it print a furnace is takes forever <clears throat> Yeah, it takes like a really, really long time. Yeah. Which I guess you imagine it would. Um, let's, let's get some copper going. Get a couple of volatiles, a couple of oxides. Um... <clears throat> Once we get this furnace set up. Come on, furnace, I believe in you. Sorta. Things take forever. <clears throat> I actually don't think anything we're doing right now needs the furnace. However, 
it is nice to uh, be able to oh man stupid frames uh, it is nice to be able to you know produce stuff if you need to yeah, that's good that's not power right that's a network I believe is it Power and network. My favorite combination. All right. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah. All right. This thing can go back in our backpack. Swap on our utility belt. Because everything else is in the backpack that we're using right now. But, uh, yeah, swap on our utility belt. And get the cabling out, you know. Ah, nice. Sunrise. So, you do not need to be activated. regular junction and we go to a straight alright yeah that would have been pretty cool it's easier to cable when these um, things are just frames but they're it's kind of a giant pain in the butt uh, to move around when stuff is just frame as well, so there is that. Yeah, right. <clears throat> so I need a corner. Hey. There we go. Oh my god, the one time. Alright. <laughs> oh god. That's <laughs> uh, something else right there, my friends. God, I, uh, please, God. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, so one thing, turn our light off during the daytime. Always helps. And then, so this stupid thing is powered up and ready to be stupid as hell. So let's go this direction today and see if we can find a bit of gold. And if we do so, that would be great. And that's copper. Man, there's a lot of copper this time. I had a lot of trouble with it for a couple of games. I may have done something with the distribution, maybe. Or maybe I just got really unlucky. It's quite possible, too. <clears throat> See, there's silicon, which we, uh, yeah, let's go and grab because we're gonna need it. Pretty sure when we're making our chips and stuff like that, that we're gonna need to um, do survival or some of our um, logic programming that we're gonna do here in a little bit.
still, our main goal here <clears throat> is we need to find gold. And I did not turn on my beacon, but it doesn't matter because we found some gold and we're not that far away. Okay. If we can mine like a bunch of gold, then we probably won't need any for a little while. I say that and that's probably not true, but we'll see. Either way, it's like we found a little nice vein of gold here um, that we can follow without too many problems. In space, nobody hears you rumble with your your uh, hand drill. Oh yeah, I got that gold fever. I wouldn't mind going back to the base and turning the solar panel. Just make sure we get a good charge. There's more. Wait, there's more. There we go. Okay. And there's our base, so nothing uh we didn't venture all that far away <clears throat> turn that off put our stuff back there Oh, yeah. A good amount of coal here. Which we won't need. Because we will not really need to use the solid generator. Okay. So. We got our furnace set up. So, for the, you know, for the fun of it. Much like Putt-Putt. Um, we'll, uh, we'll go over here and, yeah, I need to flip that over. Let me, let me get this, um, gold processing. Then let me jump up here. We'll go to our ranch. And, uh, it's still downwards. Derp, derp, derp. And we'll leave it like that <clears throat> for the rest of the sun cycle there. Okay, so it is charging and it's also dealing with the gold. So, while it's doing that, um, we'll just uh, two-fist some iron here. And it has to process it, and blah, blah, blah. And then you can do the next bit. Okay. And then... We can grab... A bit of... Coal. Come on. Get in there. All right, fine. Mm. 
Now, I mean, the thing that... Well, there's some gold. The thing that uh, we, we need now is a little bit of oxide uh, and a little bit of uh, volatiles. Um, volatiles right here. Now, if I could... If I quickly see any oxide, that's... There's some. If it's not ice, I don't think that's ice. Let's uh, put this back on. Uh, no, that's oxide. Cool. So, um, that's all we need, honestly, is five. And whatever this gives us will be fine, too. So, we put that back. And... We wait for the sun to set. Because this stuff, uh will um, just kind of dissipate really fast if the sun's out. We don't want that. What are we on in the gold here? 22 grams left. Okay. Okay. Alright. Actually... It is a little bit more complicated than that. So I need to go over here and I need to split one. And then I'll do another. Oh, I didn't mean to split half. I meant to. There. There. And now we need. Oh, for God's sakes. We need to go over here, split one. Alright, and we activate, right? So that pops us up. I think it's 100, 100 ingots of steel, alright? So, bam. That's what we wanted. So there's our steel. And we can pick that up and say, yay, we have steel, and put it in our pipe and smoke it and dance around and get giddy. Okay. You don't have to do all that stuff. That's that's just me. That's just my suggestion. Let's see. I believe it's the what we're gonna want is print electronics printer. It's Oh yeah, why not? And uh, well, I don't really care. Um, there, that can, that can go there. You can be volatile on the ground. Okay. Oh, okay, good. The gold. So, with that done, we can now make a uh, electronics printer. So, let's do that. It's pretty slow as well, as you might notice there. So, all we can do. So uh, we we did what we wanted with the steel. We got the solid generator. Um, these things making the old electronics printer. Uh, <coughs> turn this back around. So there's a few things we need to do up here actually. You know. It needs to be positive 90 degrees. What am I doing here? Where's my rotate right? This 
so I, I do I have to go around to the other side, I guess, to do the rotate, right? Yeah, okay. So let me do this for the rest of time. It needs to be positive 90 degrees. I'm just going to make my calculations later a lot easier. Or positive 180. No, that's positive 90, yeah. It's going to do this a while, I bet. <clears throat> See, this is 100%, I hope. Yeah, okay. And this is still positive, okay. So, we actually want that to go that way. Okay. Oh, it's already made one, right? So please, please stop. Okay. And uh, you. Um. Okay. So we don't, we can, <laughs> but obviously we can make a bunch of these. Now we will need to. Later on we can do stuff like set up a fabricator or what have you, but. Um, okay. There we go. This way. Um. So we'll make a uh, that. Turn that off. Turn this on. <clears throat> now, what we need is right here. All right. We need. So I need gold and copper. Yeah. Well, we need to remove the crap from this machine. We need to turn our light on real quick. take our different ingots here and feed them into here and then we're going to build uh, two logic IOs. <clears throat> I think it's two logic that we need. Yeah, that's what we need. Two of those. And, um, I'm tired of this faulty roll here. Get over there. Sit up straight. So I'll put those there. And, uh, just drop that crap over there. So we need two we need two logic memories. We're gonna need a lot of wiring too, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Nothing special, really, about those. So, 
so. Uh, finally, we need, um, what's that? No, it's not switches. Um, it's processors, right? <clears throat> yeah, logic processors need two of those. So, once we get this put together, we'll do some pretty cool stuff. That'll help us out quite a bit. Finally, let's let's throw um let's see it on there. What does it take for those? I gonna make two of them? Yeah, good, do it. All right, and a couple logic processors. We're just gonna throw those there, right there, right now. And we're going to take our, um, no, that's perfect, a couple of solar kits. Alrighty. And we won't get this done today, unfortunately. I mean, this solar day, I mean, we're going to get it done within the next 20 minutes, but. So, uh, oh, awesome. You always want to do that kind of thing, you know, it impresses everybody. So... This time, I'm going to try to do this like an intelligent way, unlike last time. And, uh, let's see if that works out for me. Probably won't, knowing me. So there's one panel. So I got the panels. Um, I took all the copper out, right? So what is this? Oh, that is copper. Okay. Now, we do need a cable coil, or a ton of cable coils. I'm pretty sure you can make them on here as well as the other one, so you don't have to swap regular cable coil, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to have uh, the old glass sheets in the backpack, that old trick. Also, might as well... Uh, just leave that in there at least. So we'll have those glass sheets. Now we also need iron sheets and um, a lot of cable, as you can see, we're making right now. All right, all right, all right. Let's 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 leave me a little copper. Probably have to. What's it? I need to print next. Well, we'll work on it. Well, maybe a fabricator. No, it's a battery, construction kit battery. That's all we want. But honestly, I'm pretty sure the battery is uh, steel more than anything. And that was it. No. I know it's in here. Kit battery, right. Iron gold. Copper. That requires oh, eight more copper and 20 steel. We got the steel. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Let's grab that crap. Now let's jet pack. Uh, let's put that up. Let's get our uh, iron sheets and jet pack up here. Okay, now I'll just drop that right there for right now. Uh, switch over to my least favorite tool. Knock that out real quick. Alright, so let's put that away. <clears throat> Place our next one. Oh, good, good, good. So now we need to do a little adjusting to the right. Okay, 90 degrees. 
Uh, now we can take you know, glass plates and blah blah. Make these work. And now, you know, grab your tool to adjust these. Forty. Why not? Oh wait, wrong way. Okay. <clears throat> now we will uh, go ahead and wire, sort of wire some of this up. Just need a cable junction here. I need a corner down there. And of course the wrong way facing. And yes. that one, this one, do another junction, there we go, well, that should make it charge like hell, but that's not really the point of this right now, what we're trying to do is just get our power situation set up for a <clears throat> for a um, kind of better situation so let me grab a sensor kit here and get my cables so now the one thing that we'll do real quick just because I like because I like to Adjust these again. So I'm going to capture as much sunlight as we can. Right. Let's see what we're going to looking at now. 70, 70%. 70% looking pretty good. Well, now it's 80%. What a bunch of jerks. Okay. Now, the last bit we need to deal with is um, placing our daylight sensor. Now, these are uh, kind of a pain in the ass to place, being completely honest. I, I don't really enjoy place, uh, dealing with them. Um... So there is one trick that I like to use with these, though, which is the old uh, remove the frame to get a better sun visibility. So way, the way we do that is now that we got that place, we don't actually need that, you know. So we can um, go over here and just... Is that no no it's the uh, uh, it's actually this so we put that up um, um, also this up and we wire through here okay And <laughs> wiring, fun, fun. Now we got our corner. Corner. Now 
Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, one thing we do need to do is seal up this this back area just to make it easier to deal with for the time being. Uh, though I might break a bunch of it down later on. So. Yeah, for right now. Yeah, that's probably good too. Okay. Let's put this away. And, um. Do a quick bit more wiring. To get this set up. I will need more cable, but I think we have copper like right next to us again, so I don't think it's a big issue. Okay, we still have a fair amount of uh, propellant. So, uh, the battery is its going to take steel. Might as well throw that in there, you know. Grab my cables. And it's... Yeah, this needs more copper. Some iron ingots, whatever. Um, no, oh yeah, I don't have my battery charger set up. It doesn't really matter. I don't need to go very far whenever we do eventually do this. I don't have my sound wiser. Huh, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, actually, I do enjoy this game, yeah. How you doing? So, yeah, when we get, um, when the sun rises again tomorrow, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some logic stuff, which will be pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead, I guess, and make, uh, cables then, right? We'll need a bunch of them. We will need a bunch of them. Cable coils. All right. Okay. I wonder. Yeah, I got logic chips. So, put that up there. And we will see here. Right, so we don't really have to wait till morning. I do want to save real quick. Alright, so... Well, the sun, the sun, this daylight sensor goes from like zero to 180 something, right? And um, 181, 182, something like that. <clears throat> and you can set up a computer, but it's just kind of expensive, uh, and and it uses a lot of energy uh, to do kind of nothing that you know really that outrageous. So you you end up kind of spending a lot of t a lot of uh, the power that you would usually have out of having your stuff track by um, by using that computer. So there's a few things you can do that are a bit cooler. So the first things is we need to put down a couple of you know, memory logic circuits here. Now 
the next thing we need is we'll put this batch rider is going to need to be yeah, we can do that it doesn't matter that much put that well yeah, we'll put it up there oops that's the power and that's yeah that's fine who cares okay so that's the batch rider now we need to do a logic reader right and that is where this guy comes in that's input and then output so the logic reader is right there and then finally we need a couple of math processors so we're gonna put one math processor right here next to these guys we're gonna put another math processor right here in the middle now one thing <laughs> I wasn't. I couldn't. I couldn't make it do decimals when I was messing around with it earlier. But yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, how did you make it do decimals without a computer? Um, either way, hold on. Let's see. Let me grab my um, labeler. Oh, let's see. I like to label these. Oh, the little... Sc oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was wondering about that. Okay. Well, all right. So, <laughs> really all you need is this, then. I don't know why the hell that... It's in the void now. That is something that happens. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I don't want to screw with it too much. Um, logic memory. That's power, right? Damn, I screwed this up. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. No, it's not. No, it's horrible. Uh, but because I don't want it to fall into the abyss, uh, I put the wrong thing in my back. Let's see. I'm fine with those being upside down because I need them to be powered. Okay. I'll be taking that's like the other way around isn't it whatever good enough I'll stop screwing around <laughs> okay so then we go to our screwdriver here that's pretty hilarious and it that's something that's awesome. Okay. So 1.8. Let's see. Yeah, I did. That's, yeah. That should have been on the other side. Not that it actually matters. I could just wire it around, but, you know, if I want it to look pretty. Yeah, what would I do? Let's see. But who cares? Let's see. That's pretty awesome. So 1.8. And we take this and we're going to go. This is divide. Our input on the side here will be. And then this will go like this. I've still got to power all this crap too. No, that was stupid. No, I, I probably need the room anyway, actually. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's got to be powered. 
And I can chain it, so yeah, that's just what that's what I'll do. Okay. Actually, at this point, who even cares? All right, logic math on divide. Uh, I got to change what I'm getting out of here. So we go over to the logic reader, and we say our input is the daylight sensor, and the variable is solar angle. And that's going to go over here to our... So the logic reader is our here, you know, and then logic memory. So we divide the logic reader by the logic memory, right? So our output then goes up to our friend the batch writer. Good God. I always screw up the... Okay. And the overall problem is, of course, like I said, I still, I still have to power all this, which I could have done a lot easier. If I had not been... Oh, what am I doing? Um, so I could do that as like a... Yeah, I just need to combine them. Okay. So... A, uh, <clears throat> a junction this way. So I still have to um, wire up the uh, solar panels up top to. So that's not going to work there. Um, yeah, I mean, the first step would actually line it up. Yeah. Ha ha! All right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice the little screw. That's pretty funny. So I was like, why is nobody saying anything about the not being able to do the decimal. Okay. So, anyway. What am I doing? I need, uh... I need my cutters and my cable. So, cutters and the cable. So... I don't know what I accomplished that, but we'll get back to that. Um, no, I do know what I accomplished with that. So, yeah, we'll have to, we'll deal with that in a second. Okay, so. E. Uh, junction, I guess. There we go. And I need more cable. So much freaking cabling involved. Let's 
off my damn jetpack. Okay, put this guy up. Okay, now we gotta find a little bit more copper and, uh, well, there we go. <clears throat> now, hopefully, there'll be a good bit more around here. I always like to find that. Hmm, okay. Well, not as exciting as I'd hoped, but. Of course, the nice thing about the early game being you can just kind of wander around and <laughs> near your base and get stuff instead of having to venture further and further out. Though it does kind of slow down a bit once you've gotten or you got like a lot of material, you'll it won't be quite as intense. How much do I even get? Ten? That's not really enough. Uh, not even remotely enough. More gold. I, I don't need any gold at the moment. Ah, there's some. It's actually a good chunk of it, it looks like. Good. So, alright, 59, um, wasn't there another patch? Yeah, here it is. Here, here it is. And, um, let's see. Oh yeah, you know what, that's plenty. That's plenty good. It's plenty good. Fall in a hole. It's a nice hole. Turn off my light. <laughs> and go here to our. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, turn you on. Da -da 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 -da. How oh, is medium? Oh, I guess I could do better, huh? Tower critical. Okay. So copper ore. How much do we have? Uh, all right, so we'll build some more cables. Maybe, maybe get us to the point that we want to be at. Re that. All this stuff doesn't use a lot of electricity, um, which is very fortunate for us. Now, we were going to do a kit battery, right? Yeah, that's the one that we need the 20 copper for. Has it popped out yet? Any moment now, I'm sure. Yep, all right. What the hell did happen to that? I don't want to know, actually, now I think about it. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. There it is. Um, and let's go ahead and do that, then. Let's build a battery. Um, switch our toolkits. Okay. 
Oh, the battery's the fun part. <clears throat> oh, yeah, batteries have to be built on actual frames. So I'll have to build out a couple of things before we deal with that. But that's not really what we're shooting for right now in the first place. So we'll just ignore that. Um, but at least I have it for whenever I need it. Um, oops. There we go. Is that okay. Let's get some, uh, let's, let's see if we can get some power going through here. I'm going to need uh, more cable, honestly. I expected that. So, straight cable, corner, eh, wrong corner. So, let's straighten it out. Cut that junction. Uh, no, consumption junction. Okay. Why should that work now? Don't I have it plugged into the. Uh, mm, I have it plugged into the wrong side of the power, so I got that going for me. Okay. That was not what I wanted. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. So, what we'll do at this point is take this apart. I'll go, I'll go back through. Cut that. Make that a freaking straight cable again. There we go. Is this thing... Yeah, we don't need all that on. Okay. Let's let's flip our lights on. <laughs> hey, Chris. How you doing? Uh, I hope so. I got a little bit of money. Uh, I mean, you know, the problem is that, like, when they, when they do that whole credit card thing, it's like, you know, they can put it back on your account immediately, but your bank will, you know, your bank will have a hold on it. So... It's just irritating as hell, you know. It's irritating as hell. It's not a great time for it either, just right after Christmas. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping it'll be all right. Otherwise, I can, you know, probably borrow some money. I just don't like borrowing money. Especially when the whole thing is not my fault in the first place. It's really irritating. It's like, I don't know how they made that mistake, but they did. <clears throat> they really did. I actually need to tie into here, right? Well, I mean, not, not there, but like, I want to. Come on, one of these will make it right, right? There we go. Okay. Uh, the whole power thing. I actually we can we can wire this a lot better, or I can. Nobody screwed it up at me. So here we go. Flip that around. The power wiring is always the biggest pain in the butt. <clears throat> the 
So let me just do this uh, as much as I hate to. A better way. There's no way that that's going to work because I don't think I can make the turn above it. No, there's, I don't think it'll let me. It's too many in the way. Yep, yep. So that's kind of the issue. Then again, I got this thing all screwed up, man. This is goofy. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to... You son of a bitch. Uh, I keep doing that, you know, and forgetting that everything falls through the damn ground. See, it's like, I really like it, but this is one of those games where, where it's like, you you just kind of, you gotta like doing this kind of stuff, you know, like, I, I, I mean, I think the damn thing's just gone at this point, which really sucks, oh, God, because that was one of my logic riders, okay, alright, it's fine. Can always just and it's a logic IO. Just make another logic IO and we'll be fine. See the thing I have to remember is that the stuff falls through the ground all the time pretty easily so when you take stuff off <laughs> yeah it's it's fine it's just um it's also like a lot of work let me see so i'm gonna stick this in my backpack for right now then i'm going to uh, cut down these wires we're going to deal with this. So, the memory is fine. It does not need to be powered. The math unit does need to be powered. It is powered from the top. <clears throat> and that logic reader is powered from the bottom. The ma Or, you know, from there. So, here's what we'll do. You... Turn it. I'm going to turn it out from there. I'm going to try to connect all the powers up in this manner. Um, that's not, that looks horrible. There we go. It's real easy to get lost in this game if you if you enjoy what uh, what it is that the game's doing. Uh, I'll put it that way. Um, it's like it's super easy to for me to just kind of start doing this and then just keep doing it for hours and hours, you know, that's, that's how, that's how I always can tell I enjoy a game, is if I can just lose tons of time to it, now, the only, you know, trying to wire stuff when it's on, like, a ledge or something kind of sucks, though, so, yeah, other than that, uh, there, Now, if we have to do a, just a, I need more. 
cable. But at least I can probably turn that on now. Yeah. So is this thing coming up? Probably got nothing, right? Yeah, it's just reading shit out of there. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll turn down into the math, and then we'll also move over to the batch rider. Oh yeah, it's it is a, it does remind me a lot of Minecraft, like very very much so. Uh, I need more copper, or I need more cable, cable kits, or cable coils. I mean, I need a bunch actually to wire up the logic on these um up on these uh, solar panels. I don't know if I have enough copper at the moment. Um, oh, hell, I might. I've got probably got it. No. No, I probably don't, actually. I don't think about it. Okay. So, well, there we go. That's how you usually like to start chucking your materials straight at the ground. Um, okay, turn the light off. Because it uses a lot of your uh, power, or of your life support power. Yeah, it is. It is a lot like Factorio, actually. So we're gonna turn this on. No, it doesn't have a. It doesn't have um, anything over there, right? So, um, and who cares? We'll just switch places with it back here in a second. Oh yeah, there, that is the pain in the ass, isn't it? Well, um, batch rider. Oh, Christ. You know, I mean, it's not, I haven't really set myself up with a lot of great options here. And that's what it'll have to be. I'll just have to split off of uh, off of there. Oh, I, mean, I do have a bunch of cable in my belt at least. So, but yeah, so we can just split off of here. Um, uh, Three-way corner, yeah. There we go. So from there, do the old straightery now. God damn. Falling down this hole sure is fun over and over again. And then, corner. Light up. Sun, sun spark, <laughs> or sun, uh, sun rays, or whatever, getting in my eyes. Yeah, let's let's turn the damn lights on again. All right, cable corner. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. Straight. Um. I mean, that does. 
Who knows? Free that up, I guess. And it gives us more, um, more room to work with this one. Damn it, get out of the way. Yes. <sighs> Build your, uh, house on the rock, folks. That's what the Lord would want. Alright. Alright, friends. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Alright. This is cool, I promise. It is totally worth it. Well, it's cool to me, so it probably is not going to be cool. So, eh, I don't know about that. Is that. Really? Oh, Jesus. How did I end up in a hole over here? Seem right, does it? Sixty percent for right? Yeah, maybe that is right. Actually, I think that is right. All right, so finally that leaves us with the output wiring, right? So we gotta we gotta go way the hell up there. So let's cable the corner up. We're in the home stretch, though. So before we go up there, let's go ahead and make a couple last last adjustments here. So what we're doing here is we're choosing the uh, oh, for God's sakes. Um, I, I have to have it wired up first. Never mind. All right, let's go up here and wire. So we need to. Um, Now the problem being that now I'm out of freaking cables again, obviously. Patience, a dental, gentle viewer, or dental viewers too, God. Patience, a dental viewer. If you've been to the dentist recently. Okay, well. Well, so let's let's go make our dreams realities. Do it. Do it. Glad you can set decimals now. I thought it was a little, little weird oversight not being able to do that. <laughs> so there we go. I'm a copper man. I'll do what I can. Here to get all the copper I can. It's early morning. Ow, ow, late afternoon. I enjoy getting copper. It's never too soon. That's right. It's a beautiful song. It's 
songwriters, truly. Uh, I'm the copper man, copper man. Oh, turns me on. Leave it alone. Oh, says copper man. Oh, do what I can. Alright. It's a damn copper. Okay. Alright, fine. You too. I know you all want to go. So please take me. I'm the best copper. I'm like, I know you are, buddy. Come here. Come here, you crazy copper nugget. I love you, you jackass. Alright, whatever. That's enough for right now. Where's our base? Vicious base. Oh, well, damn, I assume it's this way. Well, I'm gonna die of exposure. It's okay. Ah, there it is. It made an ass out of you and me, but it also brought us home. Oh, yeah. Okay. The sweet silence of space. How low can you go? I have plenty of oxygen still. That's good. I like having oxygen. Okay. Oh. Well, that would explain where all the damn copper was. Jesus. Okay. I'm bug mind. Okay. Stop it when it hits uh, 20. 20 used. Because that'll give me 40 um, cable coils. I do. I, I have some iron frames, right? Uh, one. Okay. Well, this is sounds good. Hmm. And then we'll just um, take this one apart. And uh, make those walls up. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll make that a frame too. If we need to do anything else, we'll make it walls. But so take this iron sheet real quick while we're here and um, pop this down. Okay, because we we do want to go ahead and place our battery. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. So you can wire through all of this stuff pretty easily. Not a, I would like it facing this way this time, though, so I can actually see my battery levels. But I don't think it really matters that much, you know. Yeah, the pressure stuff, I think a lot of that, Angel, was a bug. Um, they, they had, he did a lot of fixes, uh, on, um, the room pressurization in the latest update. Um, but it was, it was crazy before. Um, I agree that with you there. It was a little bit too much. I was having a hard time with it. Um... Let's see here. We'll deal with that switch over later. 
What we do want to do right now is go ahead and jump up here and finish our, our uh, solar panel wiring. Which if I do a tutorial for this, which I, I most likely will because I do that, then I'm going to do all this crap first. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy am I. Alright, so that is why I saved earlier, so I could have a save state where I can do this easily, but I'm going to have to do a lot more crap than I was thinking at first, especially since Brian pointed out the, uh, the whole thing there. Um, okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's do this, right? Let's say... Our input for a batch writer is the logic math, right? And that's what that's what we have. That's our math unit, right? So our output uh, solar panel. That's our only option. And vertical is our uh, what we're changing. Okay. Badoo. So it's going to reset them. It's going to set them to, I don't know why the hell it ha it's getting that, but whatever makes it happy. See our logic, our memory state, like, okay, let me just go ahead and walk through this real fast because I did a whole bunch of mumbling and being stupid there for a bit. Okay, let me put this in the right place. Let me grab this. Oh, okie dokie. Right. So, as I said at the beginning of this whole thing, a computer takes a whole lot of power for uh, uh, very little actual gain. Um, you know, it's, it's cool and it's fun to write logic states. Uh, it's not super fun to write them in this damn game, though, because it's like you have to click on everything. It's real kind of screwy. But I do like it. So, uh, I, you know, and I'm cool with that, right? So the problem with it is not the logic states to me. The problem with this whole thing is the, um, is the power consumption. So my biggest issue was I was running into this thing where when I wanted to uh, use my airlock in one of my earlier bases, and I had this com that computer with the state set up on it, um, it was it was just crazy. Uh, I would like run out, you know, through the night. I would I would run out of um, juice, and I couldn't get out of my base. And one of the reasons being is the computer had to be on all the time for it to work. So uh, I decided it was finally time to learn how to do all the logic coding stuff. And I wouldn't mind closing off a couple of things, but really it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So one thing we can do, uh, I'll drop that is uh, grab this and we can start preparing to do a cutover. Um, so there we go. And then this is just gonna go, it's actually, we want a corner again, right? Yeah, let's do that, right? Okay. So then we go over this guy. And uh, no, I'll do a corner from there. And then when it's time to do our cutover, it's, uh, it'll be a lot easier that way. And then we can do it during the actual sunrise. So if I've if I've done my job even remotely right, this should work. If I haven't, well, well I guess it won't. 
but I, they're facing the right direction now. We should be seeing sunrise pretty soon. You know? I don't know. But I, I enjoy the Logic Rider kind of bit of it, you know? That part's kind of fun to me. Yeah, I hear you, dog. Well, I guess let's hope the sun rises soon. Let's turn our light off. Maybe go up and join our solar panels for the morning. The morning view. See, they're slowly adjusting, right? If I haven't done this wrong... Then they'll start following, right? And if we come down and look at our logic here, we should be yeah, three, four, and that's what it's making the vertical tilt on these, right? So. It's dividing everything that comes out of this daylight sensor by 1.8 and setting that as our percentage of vertical tilt out of 100. Because this reads 180 degrees, the necess necessity of having a, a 1.8 in the memory uh, was what well, was kind of a pain in the butt before this latest update. Um, but now that you can, it's pretty simple. You know, you have your logic memory, and then you get a logic math for the 1.8. I said, okay, like a, a quick, just a quick example of this, right? So the math, the math unit, I have it set right now to divide. You can do other math functions, but one is your main number. That's our uh, logic reader, which is reading the uh, angle of the sun, right? And then it gets divided by two, which is our 1.8, and it puts out 13 point whatever, and sends it to the batch writer. A batch writer is where you choose what type of item you want and everything down this line everything that goes down this line that is a solar panel is going to be written the vertical angle will be written right there so anyway that i that's what i i thought that was pretty cool um so we're having some power problems now as you can see this battery is going to get absolutely slammed uh full and that's fine because that's what we want. We want it that way because we're going to cut the power to it. And we're going to replace all that. But we want our stuff to keep working. So what we do for the time being, and this should work. It might, I don't know how maybe something blow up, but I think this will work. I'm so terrible at that. Why, Lord? There we go. So, the problem being, I don't, I don't know what, what's going to happen when I hit the rocker switch, you know. Okay, we're good. So, it's charging up, and this has five bars on it, and once you get this thing charged, you're set for a while, man, let me tell you what. This thing will hold some serious freaking power. Okay, uh, now we need to come out to our our current network, right? Uh, which we don't really at this point, now that we're charging the other thing, other than it coming here, we don't care about. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this thing powering our stuff for the moment. We'll go ahead and make this a uh, make this a little bit prettier. Straight up, just charge this battery because we're not going to need it otherwise, right? We can even do the pa the swap over at night. It doesn't really matter at this point, but I do want to get it out here a little bit with a straight cable. And then we will, well, we're going to put maybe a six junction on it. 
I don't know. But this stuff is easy enough to deal with. I'll just go across here. Um, and I'll probably just wait for night time to switch the logic circuits over. Let it get as much charge uh, as it can, you know, during the during the daylight hours here. And uh, it'll get a pretty good amount of charge with that uh, system following, you know. Uh, let's go take a look real fast, you know. So we're, we're right pretty on it right now. I mean, could it be better? Probably, you know. Um, but I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, our our charge is low on our our favorite oh, favorite cool. battery in the world. Uh, so now with that being solid, that'll run everything, you know. Once I swap it over, it'll totally run everything. Oh, you know, that doesn't need to be on. That's probably not helping the actual, uh, the process. Um, I am eventually going to have to pressurize this place, though. <laughs> but I wanted a real, real good, um, secure source of power. And then I'm going to make a, a, a large, uh, uh, chamber this time. I'm going to put some more frames like here and here and then, you know, make it kind of a larger chamber for pressurization. I'm tired of like, having to struggle to get stuff in from the outside. Yep. Doing their job. Okay, so, yeah, I guess from here... I don't need a six junction yet, but I'll put that down because it holds the same kind of um, profile, you know. To be honest with you, right now, I could. And I could take uh, the cutters, cut that. And that should power everything back up. But let me make sure that the logic chips and everything turn back on. Yeah. Okay. So now we're running off of the giant base battery, right? And this should be, yep, yep, okay. Uh, one thing that we will want to do, I mean, we're going to clean that up, but one thing we're going to want to do is also um, get our battery charger and make sure we keep our batteries charged up well. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad place for it, actually. It's oh, not a bad place at all. Kind of ugly wire job, but whatever. As long as it works, eh? So I'm gonna grab this dude, or try to grab this dude. And see, it's got a charge on it now, and this is so much, of course, larger. Like, and can hold such a much larger charge that these things charge real fast in it, and hardly make a dent in it overall. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't really need any sort of power conditioning once you have these things set up to work. Like this, at least. It's easy to run base lights and stuff like that once you have a few um, solar panel. Base lights in the latest um, update uh, got brighter, which I'm pretty happy about, actually. Because they were not bright at all before. Okay. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. That's actually... I need to do a, a smarter layout uh, of it when I do my video. I'll, I'll do, a, do the logic reader to the left of it. I'll maybe put the daylight maybe close this off instead and do the daylight sensor over here no that's nah, fine like it is okay so there we go battery's taking longer to charge than I expected it to it's like it heard me See. Yeah, we can clean up a lot of this wiring though, obviously. Good god, that's ugly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. <laughs> Cause that's like really bad looking right now. So here we go. All right. Let's cut that. And then do a thing where we're going just a regular junction. Maybe a petticoat junction. It just depends. Yeah, because this is just really bad here. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. God have mercy. I didn't have a lot of options at the moment, I guess. Um... Let me get over here and take a look. Lights on. Glass is on. And I did all that for some bizarre reason. Alright. Oh, no, no. I still need to do the three-way, don't I? Yeah. Y'all. Y'all. Let's see. Right cable side. No, uh, you know, it's probably easier to do this and then get the straight cable into it that way. I'm targeting the bottom of the cable, right? There we go. Wow, that just like got us a lot of cabling back too. Um, yeah, it's a lot better. Next time, I will um, put this guy on the right here, and then, then um, this guy. Well, that's fine where it is right there. And then you know, that's fine where it is right there. I just need to move this one over here to make it like make a lot more sense. But whatever. I'm done. All right, so put that. There, and that battery is like fully charged now, so that that is nice. And uh, the other thing that's good for is um, this damn thing falls over constantly, but you can throw the 
tracking beacon battery up on that piece too, and it'll uh, you know, it'll uh, charge it up. You can always try to remember that, you know. Um, and these charge ultra fast because they're pretty small batteries. Um, so there's not really much of an excuse to not have uh, a pretty, pretty fully charged tracking beacon battery if you're not using it. So, which I like to keep my stuff charged up like that. Oh, uh, right. I need to finish this out. So let's let's uh let's we'll deal with that in a second. Let's go ahead and. So we're gonna need to manufacture stuff here in a bit. Okay. Yep. Now, printer or our arc furnace. Let's see. That one we actually do need. I guess we could make a fabricator and get rid of a couple of other things, though. Um. I'd rather have some power stored up before I start going too crazy. We could build some lockers, though. Um, we have not needed the solid generator. You know? Just have not. We are... It's kind of like tracking the... You know, when it, it when it lands at like zero percent, I think is when the sun's gonna rise, which is kind of funny. It really shouldn't do anything, but I think he just has it as a constant variable that those things, those um, um, uh, sunlight uh, sensors are just. Well, here's where the sun is now, and when it hits zero on this countdown, it's going to rise over the horizon, you know. Which you can kind of watch, like, on these things, you know. So it's, yeah, it's slowly, like, counting down. And when it hits zero, I'm pretty sure that's when the sun rises. But anyway... What do we got to do next? Um, you know, what we got to do next is make a ton of um, either steel or iron frames and sheets. So, uh, I kind of want to do iron right now and not even mess with it. So, um, have I, I got 39 iron in there. This is electronics printer, though. I don't know if I can do my... Let's just shoot this iron out. Okay. Some steel iron I got some more iron here turn on the auto lathe and let's make some see now construction kit walls are pretty fun how was it I need copper for them as well yeah all right I'm gonna make a couple of wall kits I don't know why. I... I mean, you can make windows and stuff with them. That's what's cool, I think. Yeah. So, for instance, if you, um, say, wanted to, you know, kind of put in like a high ceiling and have like windows or just have a window wherever you want you know it's um however uh i'm not gonna mess with it right now i just kind of want iron uh iron walls so or iron uh frames um probably a fair amount of them too mm, only make 12 this way Ugh. Oh, uh, iron's so easy to find, and uh, don't I have, like, iron anyway? Just in my backpack or something. Hell, who knows anymore. Um, and that's, uh, gold. 
All right. Here, I'll just we'll just use this many for right now. So. Huh. I mean, I could make a large airlock, but really, I just want to make a one that's kind of extra wide, so I can. Um, so we've already got one there. We need to get out my digger kit, you know, and like kind of flatten this out here in a minute. These iron frames, there's that's fine. Uh, I need walls, I guess. Uh, iron walls, right? So, do we want to do this ceiling? So we'll start generating our power again, as you can see. And we are doing fine as far as the um, solar panels tilting properly goes, which I'm happy to see. Um, oh, there's one. Eventually what will happen is we will rip uh, through the floor here and uh, build a downstairs place and a lot of this crap will not be in here at that point. Um, like for instance this will get removed pretty soon before we pressurize. Uh, a lot of stuff will get removed before we pressurize. Um, it just kind of comes down to what will screw up the uh, environment. Okay, and uh, I can turn off my light. So we have some iron sheets here. Let's go ahead and do a little closing in. We're gonna have a pretty nice space here. Uh, to be honest, I don't need all those frames up top. So in a moment, we're gonna go chop some of them down. Uh, these uh, far too, in fact, are going to get the chop. Get the clamps, if you know what I'm saying. And I bet you do. Like that one doesn't need it. Doesn't need to be there. Uh, and this one. Let's see these two. Get out of here, buddy. Okay. I'll save us some. Uh, filling stuff in and this place will be filled in quite a bit um. iron frames Much copper. Yeah, we're still doing pretty well on the solar tracking, so I'm happy with that. And I think uh, I think our setup here worked pretty well, so well that for the moment I'm gonna go ahead and construct this. off okay it'll be a decent place once uh, once we're done with it now we 
can, um, I mean, there's a few things we still need to make, I mean, like, um, a pipe bender, you know. Let's um let's put this down. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, yeah, there you go. Swap out for um for our drill here. Not to get too crazy, as it place deforms real easily. Yeah, that'll be fine for right now. We'll put another frame there. And, uh, just a regular roof there should be well. You know, let's screw it. I'll put frames there. Why not? I guess I'd rather have my airlock be super safe than just kind of eh. Were I uh, living on a, you know, the moon or, or what have you, as our friend here is. No, I'll break that one down too. Damn it. However, I'm pretty sure that this side will not be the side I wire. I'm actually okay with one, like doing one level of those. Again, pre preparations for our airlock. Um, well, that's not how I would face it. Yeah, that's all right. It looks all right. All right. Hmm. Um, whatever, get over there, jerk. Okay. I hate it when it gets in the, yeah, when some, some stupid thing gets in the way of progress. There we go. Alright. 
I just can't do this. Like, I, I wanted to, but I can't. I, I do this too often in my actual job. Yeah, I'm tempted to change that too, but whatever. I don't even. No, I didn't. No, no, that's not how that works either. Okay, we'll go out to here and then into the wall. No, it just needs to curve towards there a lot. Obviously. Then, well then all the fun begins. That's when the magic happens. that there we go that yeah, that's going to be irritating I can already tell well we'll deal with it you know we'll, we'll, we'll work it out um, Obviously, yeah, with a junction, because we also have to go up the wall. There we go. So, and then, you know, that's where our airlock controls will be, basically. They'll... They'll um, they'll run up the wall there, and we can network these two doors together, and uh, it'll be our our, uh, our larger airlock. You know. And as noted before, um, Tower critical. yeah, this thing holds a lot of charge, so it's it's not like we're in any trouble running out anytime soon. Stick this thing on here. And it'll be fine right there. I'll just yank power from that. And uh, it won't be any problem at all to power this. I'm still in all those gases, etc., in there. Uh, once we oxygenate the place or uh, pressurize the place or oxygen jab it. Jim Jabbit, Jibbity Jibbit. 
so this will all need to be closed down obviously iron all over the place so not a problem that doesn't need to be but this does and of course that all the walls Oh, a pretty decent thing going at that point. Yeah, at least I think so. Hmm. All right. Well, that looks like a good place to stop for the evening. Uh, hey, listen, everybody. I want to thank you for joining me, as always. Love you guys. You know, um, I wouldn't do it if it weren't for you. Or maybe I would. Hell, I don't know. I'm, I, maybe I'm a slut of some banner, but... Love slut. But, um, you know, enjoy, uh, enjoy doing this and hanging out with you folks and talking about the games and stuff that we do. Um, I will be back Thursday night, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do a lot more then, uh, or, you know, either this or RimWorld, you know, whatever takes our fancy at the time. Hey, yeah, thank you guys. Have a, have a great night, you know, and as always, be good to each other, and, uh, above all else, remember just to be kind. Take care, folks.